an idealistic philosophical and social movement that developed in New England around 1836 in reaction to rationalism. Influenced by Romanticism, Platonism, and Kantian philosophy, it taught that divinity pervades all nature and humanity. Its members held progressive views on feminism and communal living. Ralph Waldo Emerson and Henry David Thoreau were central figures in this movement. Frederick Henry Hedge played an important part in the establishment of the Transcendental Club. At the age of 12, Hedge was sent by his father to Germany to gain a more complete education before going to Harvard. Germany is where the ideas of Transcendentalism originated, but they later developed further in New England. After his arrival in America, Hedge graduated at the top of his class in 1829 from Harvard. He often met with Margaret Fuller, Ralph Walder Emerson, George Ripley, and Converse Francis, at a local bookstore in West Cambridge, Massachusetts, to talk about the latest trends in European thought. Later on, Hedge moved to Bangor, Maine to become minister of the Independent Congregational Church. Upon his visits to Boston, the group continued to meet for what Emerson called the Hedge Club, but is now known as the Transcendental Club. Hedge, Emerson, Francis, James Freeman Clark, and Amos Bronson Alcott attended the first meeting of Transcendentalism in Boston at George Ripley's home. Theodore Parker, Margaret Fuller, Orestes A. Brownson, Henry David Thoreau, Nathaniel Hawthorne, William Ellery Channing, and others attended following meetings. Rolf Waldo Emerson became the leader of the Transcendentalist Club. This club connected individuals that had transcendental mindsets. This club produced a magazine named The Dial. This magazine printed transcendental material and was the chief operator in spreading transcendental ideas. It was edited by Margaret Fuller, who was a political radical and feminist, and also the author of Woman of the 19th Century. His writings emphasized self-reliance and non-conformity. This is a speech he gave to Harvard University in 1837. Oliver Wendell Holmes called it an intellectual declaration of independence. In the essay, Emerson explains the influence of nature, the influence of the past and literature, and the influence of action. He concludes the essay by explaining the duties of a scholar. He explains the idea of an independent American intelligentsia that will no longer depend for authority on its European past. This speech increased his popularity in America. By the eve of the Civil War, Emerson had become an ardent abolitionist. Emerson was a mentor to Henry David Thoreau. Now, his sayings are often found on calendars, tea boxes, mints, and posters. transcendentalist ideas into practice. Lived on Walden Pond for two years to apply transcendentalist ideas to life. He once said, quote, life is wasted pursuing wealth and following social customs. As society became more aware of environmental issues, the appreciation of Henry David Thoreau increased. Mm -hmm. 
When Gandhi was starting his movement, he adopted many of Thoreau's thoughts, such as protesting what one does not believe in and leading non-violent protests. Martin Luther King Jr. took ideas of non-violence and civil disobedience from Gandhi. active, professed refusal to obey certain laws, demands, or commands of a government or of an occupying international power. Civil disobedience is sometimes, though not always, defined as being non-violent resistance. Thoreau argues that individuals should not permit governments to overrule or atrophy their consciences and that they have a duty to avoid allowing such acquiescence to enable the government to make them the agents of injustice. Thoreau gave lectures at the Concord Lyceum, which helped him establish the topics he desired to discuss in his essay, Civil Disobedience. The government is more harmful than helpful. People should not follow rules they disagree with. Voting is not enough. One must express his or her thoughts or ideas to the public to motivate change. And that the government is the primary agent of corruption in society. Many people scoffed at his chosen lifestyle and ideas, but they later became important to major leaders such as Gandhi and Martin Luther King Jr. Preachers became more emotional and had a better connection with their audiences. This religious movement created a more positive outlook on religion and human condition. Many more African Americans and women participated in Christianity. Transcendentalism opened ideas of free-form thinking that drove the public to question rigid religion and become a more welcoming society. Transcendentalism inspires people to think freely and only do what they believe to be right. Without transcendentalism, leaders such as Gandhi and Martin Luther King Jr would have never had inspiration to change their society in such powerful ways. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail.